Hey guys, I'm here at Gen Con 2016 with Craig McRoberts. He is here for Greater Than Games. We're at the booth. Craig, thank you so much for joining us. Oh, sure it's thing. An absolute sure pleasure. Thing. Uh, tell us about Greater Than Games. All right, uh, Greater Than Games is a, we're a board game publisher. We do board and card games, and we're actually even breaking into the like tabletop role-playing game market nice. a little bit. All right. Um, and we are, uh, we're based out of St. Louis. Um, nice. It's pretty close. Yeah. Right? It's awesome. Yeah. So oh, yeah. yeah. Well, we should hang out. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. Um, and you guys kind of got your, cut your teeth on Sentinels in the Multiverse, right? Yeah. Sentinels in the Multiverse is our big game. Premiered actually four, uh, five years ago at Gen Con. Nice. So Gen Con 2011. So this is really kind of the, the five year anniversary yeah, of this, that effort. This is the, our biggest Gen Con yet. Like, it's the most important one because of that. It's beautiful, <laughs> man. So yeah. tell me about, we're going to talk about Spirit Island today. Because sure. this is a game that you guys put out, caught my attention immediately. Sure. Uh, it's as far as I can tell, you are the island like divine forces, the gods, mm -hmm. the old gods, and you're trying to stop the colonization yeah. uh, attempts on your island. Exactly. Novel concept. Tell me, tell me about how that theme, uh, you know, came about and, and how it plays out in the game. So, uh, Spirit Island is unique in that it is the first game that we've ever published that was not designed in house. Nice. So, what happened was uh, Christopher Bedell, one of the owners of the company. Uh, he uh, he was wandering around a convention one day, and he saw this game set up on a table. And he's like, "Hey, that is a cooperative game. I like cooperative games. I'm gonna go take a look at this." And it was just a you know prototype on index cards yeah. and stuff. And he checked it out, got to talking with the designer, and they just kind of chatted back and forth about the design, and. It ended up, well, who else is going to publish it? We have to publish it now. Oh, great. Um, and so it was all, uh, Eric Royce is the designer of that, and it was all his idea. He was really interested in, like, uh, Pacific Island at that, mm -hmm. at that point, mm -hmm. and the history of the colonization of the Pacific Islands and all that sort of yeah. thing. And so naturally just it kind of sprang out of that. Beautiful. And, you know, a certain game that rhymes with Schmettlers and Schmettan <laughs> was really big, yeah. and this is kind of its dark mirror. Oh, where, beautiful, right? And so he wanted to do something, let's do the opposite of that. Love that idea yeah. that Settlers <laughs> is all about, you know, coming in and colonizing these spaces, uh -huh. and this one is all about keeping the Settlers away. Yeah, so exactly. So what's the basic gameplay of this game like? Uh, so it's... Mm, it is board and card based. Okay. Um, you've got your like basically spiritual centers of power out on this island, and you're gonna play your various powers throughout the game. Like this power might let you uh, move, you know, move villagers from one place to another, okay. and they're gonna attack. Uh, right. They're attack there. So there's some spirits that are gonna move in animals from the forest to fight, and so it's all like, you've got fast and slow powers. So basically, fast powers go off if you happen to play a fast power, um, it's going to go off, it's going to do its thing, and then there are going to be lots of other bad things that happen. The, the colonists are going to send explorers out, and they're so, going to start building cities. So you have like an immediate setback for the colonists, but then they kind of redouble their efforts. Yeah, so your fast powers go off, the colonists do their thing, yeah. and then any slow powers that you have go off after that. So you've got proactive and reactive powers, Beautiful. basically. And so are you, are you trying to choose throughout the game, am I going to solve a problem right now or set up to solve bigger problems later? That is the puzzle of this game because it's gonna, it looks really messy sometimes. You're like, I have to handle this because if I don't handle this, I'm gonna lose this part of the island completely. Yeah. Like it's just gonna be built up beyond anything I can do. So I have to handle this, but the next turn, I can see that there's gonna be a new ship landing and wow. there's gonna be more people coming in on this other side of the island that I don't have any impact on right now. So do I move toward that and handle a future threat that I know is going to be so a threat, good. or this right now. So good. And so, yeah. how long does it take until you either win or lose? Is there a, is there a clock? Is there points accumulated? Um, it is, uh, there are a couple victory conditions. Okay. Um, it's basically, if you run all of the invaders off of the island, that's a win. All right. Um, there are also, uh, there's also another one that is like fear-based. So, <laughs> You're doing some really weird things that these invaders from another land 
don't understand. So you can creep the invaders out so much that you win, essentially? Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> that sounds so fun. <laughs> well, Craig, what's your favorite thing about this game? I know you, you play tested, you said, a lot in its early stages yeah. and even now. What, what's your favorite thing about this game? I, I love how it draws me into the theme. Like, when I'm playing, my, my personal favorite spirit is all about the dark shadows in the forest, basically, yeah. in the jungle. And so he's striking from the striking from the shadows or sending beasts out to like maul an explorer that dares to enter the dun into the jungle. Um, I just love how it draws me in to the theme. Like, Beautiful. I feel like I'm doing these things. It's super exciting when it happens. Wait, you say that reminds me of a really like puritanical, like being scared of the wilderness uh -huh. kind of stuff. Exactly. That's very cool. Well, Craig, thank you so much. Thank you. Spirit Island, Greater Than Games. Check this one out. It looks incredible. We got more coming from Gen Con 2016. Stay tuned.